Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Oh, you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo, what's going on, people? It's a day, but day, but day. We call Sunday. Anyway, that being said, what's going on, people? Oh. Oh, it has been very, 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 very that, and it's been a very, very, very quiet weekend. Uh, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to meet another sorry-ass man. They're all over the place. They're on the internet. They're out in the streets. Oh. And the thing about it is, you know, um, I got asked out on a couple of dates, and I I would go because I'm I'm too scared to go because I'm scared somebody's gonna take me somewhere and leave me. <laughs> you know, so I won't go. Anyway, that being said, you know, when the thing about it is like, it's so crazy because, um, it's like, um, when guys don't, like, guys don't really know, um, what you look like until they see you in person, you know, it's like that, I gotta see you in person type of thing. I've seen your pictures, but I need to check you all out from A to Z to see if you're spookable, if you're gonna get me motherfucking laughed at or something by hanging out with you. Now, normally, people are not gonna laugh at you because, bro, most of the time, people really don't give two flying fucks what y'all two doing. And that's the other thing, you're just not that much of a factor to people, as a lot of us like to believe that we are. And the simple fact of the matter is that people do have a life, and I don't think a lot of people know that, especially down with us. Anyway, that being said, and the thing about it is, you know, um, went out there and everything and want to hang out with me and want to check me out and say I'm a spooky book detectable and da 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 and I think it's so sad that the girls like me we, we lower our standards so much and we we like saying well maybe I'll just date this guy because maybe he's a little bit more different you know maybe he'll treat me better because he is an ugly motherfucker he is not my taste but you know what I say they say well you know I'm going to give it a chance sometimes my standards may be a little too high I don't care how beautiful you are how passable you are how great you are how fabulous you are there's still a lot of girls like me that don't have a man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but I just think it's funny because I really don't want one. I'm scared of men and I'm not passy yet and stuff like that. Everybody said, well, you going to get past you gonna get? I'm not, mm-mm, no. Because this is how I see it. When a guy meets you and stuff like that and you're not exactly what he wants, he goes, oh, by the way, did I tell you I have a girlfriend? Oh, now you got a girlfriend, but you didn't have a girlfriend before, so that lets me know that I must not be the passable grade. Oh, I just figured I'll let you know I got a girl. Just in case you're going to try to, you know, try to be my, you want me to be your man, and I'm just getting that out the way, so I can throw that dad in here. Bitch, I don't want you. The only thing I want is to, mm. Anyway, you know where I'm going. And the thing about it is, you know, it, it's so funny how we sell ourselves so short to be with somebody because we get so desperation and stuff like that and you know like I said before you know you have to live your truth and you have to be happy whatever decision that you decide to make within yourself you know but the thing about it is like it's crazy and it's real you know if you have someone and I know a lot of girls do I'm happy for you if you don't have anybody and and you really want somebody he'll come if you're anything like me you know we say fuck up what's in your wallet because at the end of the day I don't feel as though like, I do meet a lot of guys and stuff like that, but I feel as though the guys I do meet, I know they got somebody else. And I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to switch spots with her. You know, and the thing about it is, a lot of times you guys and girls, whatever kids may be, y'all want y'all want this person so bad, y'all willing to hold on even though you know he got somebody else, because you want him so bad. Are you really willing to give up that spot that she has? I mean, are you really willing to give up that spot that you have to be in her spot? Now remember, you may get him. Now remember how you get him, how you lose him. So now you get the man and he's in your house and stuff like that and he's not around. Guess what? You're now the wife. So now he's fucking around on you to say well, you was the one helping fuck around on her. You know, and that's the thing about it, you know, can you just actually be faithful to someone? Can you honestly believe that someone is actually going to be there for you in the end? I don't believe it. I just don't. I don't trust men, but don't trust me because my simple fact is not the, my simple fact of the matter is that I haven't got to the area where I feel as though I can allow a man in my house without trying to rob me or give me some disease. And then some people be like, well, you know what? When I do get a man, what we're going to do is we're going to go take the AIDS test. Bitch, let me just give you a little 411. You and that motherfucker go down and take AIDS test, syphilis test, gonorrhea, a VD, um, of any motherfucking thing y'all want to take tests. And as soon as he steps out, you know he's going to give everything he just got from her to you. Because he know he has to. Because if he don't, you know, you know he's been cheating. So guess what? 
keep the condoms on. But that's just me, because some of you girls got upset when I said about the, you know, the diseases and stuff. Some of you girls want to fuck without protection, so I can't stop you, hey. Just don't be hit me up on the bus, some little girl. Uh-uh, girl, nothing. Anyway, that being said, I want you all to practice safe sex, but that's just my opinion. You might be listening to me. You can fuck with you what you want to do. You can suck, spit, swallow, put that cock in that mouth, and you suck that motherfucker. <laughs> But that's on you. That's nothing to do with me. Anyway, just like Raven, I don't like putting condoms in my mouth. I don't like to say this. Suck it up, bitch. Have a great fucking time. But at the end of the day, it's your life and your insurance. And remember that man you suck in his dick. When you do pass away, that's the last motherfucker gonna be at your funeral, honey. He is not even gonna show up. You be just laying in that motherfucking box waiting to your next life. Oh, it's a mess. Anyway. That's just my opinion. I just been to a lot of funerals and stuff like that. And I never saw the man who gave the girl the disease. She always sat by herself dead in that motherfucking coffin, boxed to the fuck up, looking all fan fabulous. And he ain't no way around, honey. So anyway, so you think you got the right one? Good for you. Anyway, I just wanted to read out for this message, and I want to say hello, all new people. Boom! I want to say old people, bam! And I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. And if nobody like it, then fuck up.